Hi, third grade learners. It's Miss Krause from Hutchinson Elementary School. I'm so excited to talk to you about perimeter today. Now, yesterday, Miss Tusi taught you about that same concept. And if I asked you to remember what she taught about and asked you to tell me what the definition of perimeter is, my hope is that you would be able to go, oh, Miss Cross, come on, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. We just learned about that yesterday. And that you would tell me the perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. And if you did, good job. Now, when I look at this word perimeter, there are a couple things that come to mind. Number one, the Latin meaning of perimeter or the origin of that word goes back to the word parametros. It's fun to say. Why don't you say it after me? Parametros. Now, parametros means this. If we take the beginning part of the word, peri, it means the outside of something. And metros means the measurement. So the measurement around the outside. Now, when I look at the word in English, we see it right here in red, right smack dab in the middle, I see the word rim. Now, a rim of something is the edge. Now, you can't see me right now, but I'm holding a coffee cup. And the top edge of that coffee cup where I would drink out of is called the rim. And then I see this other word here at the end, and that is the word meter. Now, we've learned about the metric system, and we've got centimeters and millimeters and kilometers. So when we put those together as peri, the outside edge, and measurement, we have that same definition. Miss Tusi taught you that there are a few ways that you can find the perimeter of a shape. Now, if the shape happens to be in a grid with squares, you can simply count the units around the outside of the grid. Let's do that together. We start on the side, we've got one, two, three, four units, then we go across the top. Five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, then we start down the side, 13, 14, 15, 16, and across the bottom, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I would say that the perimeter of the shape is 24 units. Now, here we have three different shapes. Taking a look at the first one, why don't you go ahead and count the outside edges and tell me out loud what you think the perimeter of the first one is. Go ahead. Okay, let's see if we got the same answer. So I go across the top and I've got one, two, three, four, going down five, six, seven, eight. Across the bottom, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 14, 15, 16. So I would say that the perimeter is 16 units. Is that what you got? I bet it is. Let's go to the second one, which I think looks like a green letter T. Go ahead and count the edges, and I will give you a few seconds to figure out the perimeter. All right, are you ready to compare answers? I'm going to start across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think it's 16 units. Is that what you got? Thumbs up if you did. And now let's take a look at the last one. What I think looks like a blue plus sign. Go ahead and count the outside edges and we will compare answers in just a few seconds. Okay, do you have your answer? Let's see. I'm going to start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The answer is 12 units. If you got all three of those right, I want you to take your right hand and place it on your left shoulder and give yourself a pat on the back. And as you give yourself that pat, say, self, go ahead and talk to yourself, self, you're so smart. 
and good looking too. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next slide. And not only can we count units, but we can also add up the lengths if they are given to us, or we can even measure uh, shapes and then add the lengths up. So on this particular rectangle, we've got sides of 5, 10, 5, and 10. If we added all of those up, I think hmm, 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 plus 10 is 20, and 20 plus 10 is 30. So my perimeter would be 30 inches. Let's see if you can figure out the perimeter of each of these shapes. Take a look at that first orange square. It looks like an orange sticky note. Then we know it's a square because there are four sides and they all have the same measurement. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So if we added those up, 2, 4, 6, 8, who do we appreciate? Oh, wait, sorry, I went into chair mode, but we have to add all of those up. 2, 4, 6, 8, the perimeter would be 8 inches. Let's take a look at the blue triangle. We have sides of 8, 8, and 5. So we would say 8 plus 8 is 16, and 16 plus 5 is 21 centimeters. Now we take a look at the pink arrow and there are lots of sides but they're easy measurements. I can skip count by twos so let's start there. Two plus two is four and four plus two is six plus one is seven and seven plus three is ten and ten plus three is thirteen and thirteen plus one is fourteen so my perimeter would be fourteen inches. Now what if you knew the perimeter but one side was left off. Could we figure that out? Sure we could. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add up all the sides that we know. So we're going to think 10 plus 7 plus 4. And once we add those unknown sides, we're going to get the answer of 21 because 10 plus 7 is 17 plus 4 is 21. So 21 plus what? equals 29. You could count up, you could use fact power, or you could even subtract 29 minus 21. And no matter how you got it, you should get the answer of 8. So the unknown side is 8 centimeters. Let's take that same concept and apply it to these two polygons. The first one, the perimeter of the pink polygon is 22 inches. So we will add up what we know to find the unknown side. So I'm going to start by doubling 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. And 18 plus 2 is 20. So all of my known sides are 20. So 20 plus what equals 22? Well, the answer to that would be, did you say 2? If you said two inches, you're right. Well, let's take a look at the orange polygon and the perimeter is 32 inches. I'm going to start with five plus five is 10 and 10 plus 10 is 20 and 20 plus eight is 28. So 28 plus what equals 32? Well, if I counted up from 28 to 32, I would know that the answer is four inches. Now, let's just apply this to real life. Let's say it's your mom's birthday, but like Misty, you can't get out to buy a birthday card. Plus, moms like homemade cards anyway. So Misty wants to glue lace or ribbon to the outside edge of the birthday card she's making for her mom. Her rectangular card measures six inches by nine inches. So how much ribbon or lace will she need? Well, the first thing that I'm going to do to help me is I'm going to draw a picture to decide what I know. So I take this card and I draw it out and I put the dimensions of six inches and nine inches. Well, I think, hmm, it's a rectangle, and I know that with rectangle, opposite sides are equal and parallel, so that means that both the top and bottom will be six inches, and the length or the sides would be nine inches, so I label that. And then I have to think, hmm, to figure out how much would go around the outside edges, I have to 
figure out the perimeter. So that means I have to add the four sides. So I take 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus 6. Well, if I do that, I, I just look and I think, hmm, 9 plus 6 is 15, and I have that twice, so 15 plus 15 is 30. So my perimeter is 30 inches, or I would need 30, or Misty would need 30 inches of ribbon or lace to go the whole way around the outside. Now, let's think about something else. Let's say that you are on a soccer team, and Claire's also on your same soccer team, and your coach looks at you and says, run a lap. And that means that you have to run the whole way around the outside or the perimeter of the soccer field. And you have want to figure out how much do I really have to run if I have to do a lap. Well, the measurements of the soccer field along the sidelines are 60 yards and along the end zone lines, those are uh, 40 yards along those goal lines. And so what we would have to do is add all of these up together. So I would think 60 plus 40 plus 60 plus 40. Well, I know that 60 plus 40 is 100. And I have that twice. So 100 plus 100 is 200 yards. Now, to put that in perspective, if you think about a football field and from the goal line where you would score a touchdown in the end zone, from goal line to goal line is 100 yards. So if you were running 200 yards, that would be two lengths of a football field. Are you tired just thinking about that? <laughs> I am. But now let's take a look at one more example. Willis got a pet rabbit. And he decides to make an L-shaped pen for his rabbit. Now, the pen that he builds, which is like a cage, has six sides. And the perimeter of the entire pen is 10 meters. Well, five of those sides measure one meter, three meters, two meters, one meter, and one meter. So what is the length of the sixth side? Well, go ahead and draw this picture out and label what I know. And I've got the sides of one, one, two, three, and one. So all of those sides plus the unknown side will equal 10 meters. So if I add those up, one plus one is two, two plus two is four, four plus three is seven, and seven plus one is eight. So eight plus what equals 10? Well, I know that eight plus two equals 10. So that unknown side is two meters. So there are lots of real life applications to perimeter, whether it's knowing that you want to put a fence around your swimming pool and having to measure the perimeter of the pool to know how much fencing to make, or if it would be that you have a flower garden and you want to know the perimeter of that flower garden. Lots of different things that we can use perimeter for. So. In closing, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside of a flat or two-dimensional shape. It could also be called a plane shape. And how do we find that perimeter? Well, we add up the lengths of all of the sides. So third grade learners, I hope that this is a skill that you are doing well with. We're going to give you some opportunities to practice. And if you have any problems, you can let us know. Thanks so much, third grade learners, and I will see you soon.